your uh, first day here? You guys been touring the, before the past couple days? Or oh no, first first day here, first first Comic Con ever. Really? Yeah. Oh wow. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. You haven't done San Diego? Uh, no, I did a I did a WonderCon. WonderCon. Uh, okay. For like a way. half a minute. Okay. Uh, a couple years ago. So yeah, is this great. overwhelming? Oh, it's great! I love it. Yeah. No, I I I love this. I I, I don't know why I haven't been going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the passion is real. Here. Yeah, yeah. It's really it's great. It warms my heart. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, you want to start by telling us just a little bit about the show and what we can sort of expect here, ship wise? So what what are we going to see? Um, it's uh, it's really cool. It's really um, visually uh, arresting, and it's uh, it looks amazing. Um, it's really involved. Thing. I love, love, love the dream sequences are are just a pleasure to sort of let yourself go and um, it's got uh, really uh, cool characters that are really well played, well thought out, well written, interesting. It assumes a great deal of intelligence on behalf of its audience. It doesn't go to great lengths to over explain or bore you with the same information. Um, I'm really excited about it. I think, I think it's got tremendous uh, potential to to really appeal to a lot of people and you shoot in New York so what is, yeah how is that experience? oh it's the best I, I live in New York I've been in New York for 25 years and um, this is the first uh, series regular uh, job I've had that shoots in New York and uh, it's everything I ever hoped it would be to be able to sort of roll out of bed and go to work yeah it's the best okay so I do have a question for you in terms of I watched the first episode and it was fantastic I'll be honest with you cool cool and your the way your character introduces himself it's pretty much like you already know this is there going to be any type of um, I would say back end story that kind of, sh- kind of explains how you find out about the, the shared dream experience yeah there there uh, there is um, there's definitely some explanation of that, but it, it is also wrapped up in sort of the character's own agenda anyway. So the information that that Bill chooses to reveal may or may not hew to the truth, uh-huh. um, but it definitely you know the, the, yeah there is some explanation as to where where this fascination where, where this drive comes from. Fantastic, fantastic. Yeah. And for more, and I, welcome. Um, <laughs> you're very excited on, on the panel, um, and basically you mentioned that you before you were a hacker. So, and then uh, from from a hacker to a neuroscientist, am I correct? How does that, how do you translate? That's a, that's a very interesting spectrum of computer science to neurology. So, being a hacker was a full-time job. This was my profession for 10 years of my life, thinking this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. Uh, a chain of events I can list them, but they involve a lot of like uh, randomness in them. Led me to basically meet a guy who kind of said, "You know, I was a hacker." He says to me, "During World War II, and we broke the enigma and it changed the course of the war. And not only that, when the war was ended, we all went to science, and each and every one of us changed science. We discovered how DNA works, and we broke codes, and we did all the things. If you know how to do that, you should consider going to." Like, try to apply your knowledge into something that's going to help the world. Okay. It took me some time to listen, but the bottom line was that I made a decision and there's a lot of similarities. That's kind of the main thing. So, it starts with the fact that it's like a black box that you cannot really see inside. You can only feed input and see what's coming out and learn how it works. To the tools, like the mathematics, the statistics we use, all the same. So, hackers are already half neuroscientists. They just need to learn it's called the brain now instead of like a Mac OS 2. And that's uh, uh, obvious. So, you're involved on in the consulting side of the. Of this, of the show? I came late. So when, when I came, the show already existed. Uh, they were already filming partially at the first episode. So no one asked me about uh, my thoughts on dreams, but they aligned perfectly. So when I first met Blake, he told me that uh, his mom was a Jungian uh, psychologist. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and that's when he got his ideas. And he actually met advisors of mine in the course of his like studies. So, so they, had, they had a lot of things. It was meant to be a science fiction show. No one intended for it to be like a documentary about my lab. <laughs> 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 uh, 
And, and that's, I think, what's cool about that, because the, the science is a little bit less exciting in many ways than the way it's depicted, which would make people watch it and want to go into the science. So I feel that this show is the kind of the best PR I could imagine mm -hmm. for studying dreams. And that's, I think, my hope. Excellent, excellent. Thank you. Would you say that that's one of the uh, differentiators of the show compared to other dramas and or you know, science fiction programs out there? Is that you're, you're studying dreams, if you will, right? It's, it's got a you know, big focus on that. Would you say that that's a true differentiator of this program compared to other others on TV today? Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think so. I. I um yeah, again, like uh, one of the sort of most arresting things about it, just to watch it, are, are the, these these dream sequences, you know, that, and and that uh, they're they're strange and they're they're off, but they're also compelling and they also drive forward the plot and and deepen the the world of it um, in a way that you know the waking life or real life stuff um, can't achieve. Uh, so yeah, I think it does make it stand out that yeah. there's, there's that device. Yeah. Great. So, Not all scientists look as good as him. Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, most of us like, you know, have like, uh, big glasses and a uh, lab coat and like, uh, so I think that's uh, something that's fine. That's great. That's great. <laughs> Guys, can I get a picture for social media before you yeah. move on here? Perfect. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thanks a lot. Pleasure.